Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Dakota and on this channel we have fun with learning and creating art. Let's see what we're creating today. So for our sunflower painting, we will be using Archer's watercolor paper. I've cut it down. It was a 9 by 12, so I've cut it in half. Uh, tape, two cups of water, towel, Winsor Newton Cotman watercolor paint, a size 8 Princeton Heritage round brush, and then I've just got a thick cardboard backing um, that I'm taping the paper to. For here, the colors we are using is, this one here is the cadmium yellow. Um, we will also be using lemon yellow and burnt sienna mixed. Yellow ochre. Burnt umber. Viridian hue and cadmium yellow mixed. And viridian hue and burnt umber mixed. To start, I will use the yellow ochre to paint the stamen of two of the flowers. And I will use the cadmium yellow to paint the sunflower petals. Um, and I'm starting, I'm, I'm going to start with a side view facing flower. Um, and I'll do the first layer of petals. And then I'll do the tips of the petals right behind so you can just see the other petals poking through. So it's not a full side, but it's more um, angled. So we're just, I'm just going to uh, paint the petals all around both of the stamens. Um, the last, the last flower has a bit of an angle, so the petals are not perfectly around it, so they'll be in a slightly different direction. Now that the petals are dry, we're going over it um, as a second layer petals and we're using the lemon yellow and burnt sienna mixed. Okay, so I'm not covering the yellow, the cadmium yellow petals completely. We're just making a second layer to show that uh, the sunflower has multiple layers of petals. And we're going to do this for all three of the flowers. Right now I'm using the Viridian Hue and Cadmium Yellow Mix 
to add these stems and leaves for these sunflowers. Um, I'm having the stem touch the petals uh, just to have a bit of the green bleed in to the um, yellow petals there. And I'm making sure that the stems are not perfectly straight. They're going to look more like they're blowing in the wind. And the, the petals that we're going to do, um, we'll just uh, add them in where we feel um, that we need to cover in the space. Now that the petals are complete, I am using the Viridian Hue and Burnt Umber mixed to add uh, the veining line details while the leaves are still wet. So I'll go ahead and complete that for all the leaves here. Um, right now I'm using the burnt umber and I'm just adding dots with the tip of my brush to the stamen and I'll do that on both of the flowers that um, have the stamen showing. So because some of the leaves dried um, and weren't as wet, the veining detail didn't blend in as I wanted. Um, so I just put a bit of water on the brush, not too much, just very light. And I'm spreading and blending the uh, veining details in so that it's not as dark and straight hard lines. Um, I'll go through each of the leaves um, that I feel is a bit too dark and um, make sure that they're all blended. I'll also add in some more green to the ones that I feel are too light 
and you can't see too much of the veining detail. Um, and I'll just make sure that all the leaves are relatively similar with the blending and bleeding. Now that the painting is finished, I'm going to peel off the tape um, and see how it looks all finished. Thanks again for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe for more, and I hope to see you next time.